The Galapagos Islands are located 960 kilometers away from mainland Ecuador in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. The islands were created by underwater volcanoes and therefore were never connected to any other piece of land. As a result, animals that live on the islands had to have either swam, flew, or had been transported to the islands. So while a lot of the animals in the Galapagos are endemic, meaning that they can only be found in this one location, they do have ancestors that reside in other parts of the world. Once the species arrived in the Galapagos, though, they had to adapt to the new and unusual ecological conditions on the islands. Some of these ecological changes include little to no fresh water, only certain edible foods, and an excess of volcanic rock. So while these animals have ancestors in other parts of the world, a large amount of the species adapted to fit this new environment, what Darwin calls evolution and natural selection, labeling them as endemic. The Salema fish are also known as dream fish as they are hallucinogenic to eat. These fish only eat a specific type of algae found in the Galapagos waters that when mixed with the toxins in their flesh can cause humans and other animals to see things that are not really there. While these fish are not in danger of being overfished, their populations have still seen a steady decrease as they are often caught in fishing nets intended for sea cucumbers and sea bass. The Comatillo fish is the species that has seen the greatest drop in population over the past 10 years. According to the Charles Darwin Research Center, the Comatillo has seen a 70% decline in population due to its simplicity to catch. These fish are known for living in giant schools near the surface of water, making it easy for fishermen to quickly lower a net and catch hundreds. They are also economically important and can be sold to the international fish market for a good sum of money. This fish has a category red label from the World Wildlife Foundation, which is the highest category for an endangered species. There have been 444 documented fish species in the Galapagos that belong to 112 different families of fish. 41 species of these fish are endemic to the Galapagos, while others are rare in other parts of the world but can still be found. Some of the most important endemic fish in the Galapagos are the white-spotted rock sea bass, the sailfin grouper, the salema, the Galapagos thread herring, the comatillo, the, and the Galapagos grunt. The sailfin grouper is a common fish in the Galapagos and can be easily spotted due to its bright yellow gold color. This fish can grow up to three feet long and produces a large amount of meat per fish. Fishermen in the Galapagos claim that it is the most economically important fish in the islands and is much sought after for international buyers. The sailfin grouper is in danger of becoming extremely overfished as local fishermen ignore the quota that the government has put on the species. This is a picture of an albacore tuna. It is one of the more common tuna found in multiple oceans, but has recently become rare in the North Atlantic. Because of overfishing in the Galapagos, albacore tuna have dropped significantly in number. Fishermen view it as a prize fish and try to earn money from catching it. This is a big-eyed tuna. It is also being dangerously overfished. As the widely caught bluefin tuna population shrink, fishers turn to the big-eyed tuna. This kind of tuna is also used for sushi, giving it a high value, which also leads to its overfishing. This is a skipjack tuna. They are by far the most common tuna found in the Galapagos, but they indirectly hurt other tuna. Skipjacks are often found swimming with other tuna like yellowfin and big eye, so fishers mistakenly catch these two other endangered species when they were only trying to catch the skipjacks. Unfortunately, the healthy populations of skipjack tuna cause other types of tuna to suffer. Galapagos is a home for many types of animals, including sharks like bullhead sharks or hammerhead sharks. But the sharks are now becoming one of the most threatened groups of animals in Galapagos. This is not a natural cause, but a result of overfishing and shark finning by human beings who economically benefit from them. The primary reason the overfishing and shark finning continues is because nothing is looking after the sharks. There is no such thing like the Greenpeace campaign or a well-organized program to protect the shark population. People believe sharks are cruel predators that do not need protection when in fact they are mostly very shy and docile. These people do not realize the life on land depends on life on the ocean. If sharks, an animal that is in the top of the food chain die, then plankton eating animals will thrive without sharks. And considering the fact that planktons are responsible for more than half of oxygen produced on earth, 
This is a major issue. Therefore, killing sharks severely damages the marine ecosystem. Currently, longlining is banned in Galapagos and shark finning is prohibited. But more administration is necessary to enforce the law and protect the shark population. Saving sharks is not just about saving sharks or saving the marine ecosystem. It is ultimately about saving humans. Isotocopus fuscus is a type of sea cucumber that is native to the Galapagos Islands. Unfortunately, it is going extinct due to overfishing. Fishing of the sea cucumbers is in the Galapagos Islands started in 1988, but because of such rapidly declining numbers, there was a ban placed on sea cucumber harvesting in 1992. Sea cucumbers eat detritus and flip over the sea floor. They are essentially equivalent to earthworms on land. Sea cucumber fishermen have set up land camps that have ruined the extraordinary land habitats on the Galapagos Islands by bringing unknown species to the island such as black and brown rats, fire ants, and other invertebrates in plants that are not native to the land.